What's going on guys and girls? We're here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all mission tasks for mission 24 which is called Close Contact. So in this mission there are seven mission tasks to complete. I'm going to be going through every single one of them in the single playthrough. You guys don't have to do that if you don't want to. If you just want a few of these mission tasks what you can do is there are uh, timestamps in the description so you can just go to them and go to the ones that you watch the ones that you want to see so you can get them. So the first one we are going to be getting is the eagle. Now the eagle is flying around here. There are a couple of them around this area so I'm just going to place a marker right there. Then we also have got to get the African peach, which was right there. And then over here is going to be two of the four mineral containers you're going to have to extract. You're going to have to extract all four of them. And then there's the other two, the second marker that I placed. So what we're going to do is we're using a Jeep just to help us get around this area because we're using D-Dog and uh, there is a little bit of driving in this mission. So what we're going to do is we're just going to head up here and as you can see there is a flying eagle. Now they might be landed somewhere when you come around so using D-Dog just to help spot them is very useful. And I'm going to be using the tranquilized sniper rifle just so that I can shoot him out of the sky. It may take a couple of shots to actually get him because he is a moving target so you do have to aim in front of him and he's also quite high so you have to account for that. So I missed the first time and I think I get him the second time right there. It's actually a lot easier when they're flying directly at you. So you just wait for them to be flying directly at you and then you just have to aim a little bit in front of them and you can definitely easily get it. So now we just have to pick him up and extract him. I am going to be using the wormhole Fulton device. You, all you need is the um, uh, one that can take out mineral containers. So that is like the level 3 or level 4 uh, Fulton device for this mission. And if you're doing this mission by then you probably most likely have that Fulton device already. So I'm just showing you that, that we have now got the eagle and we are going to be moving on. So now we're going to be heading over to the northeast guard post to get the material containers. Now the reason we're heading it that way is because you could also, uh, if you wanted to, go and get the African peach. But the problem is that it's on the other side of the little base which has quite a few guards in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this one first and then we're going to go get the prisoners place them in a jeep and get then also get the what are they called the nibians which are just goats if you want to just use the word goat uh, so those are the things you're going to have to extract you're going to need six of them uh, I ran into a bit of trouble so you make sure that you've got your um, night vision goggles with you especially if they're upgraded so that it makes it a lot easier during the day to see using them so we're just running up here, we're just tranquilizing some of the guards that are in our way and then we're just going to drive up a bit further and there is going to be another guard walking along here so we're just going to make sure we get him as well. And we want to make sure we save a little bit of ammo because we're going to use it quite a bit in this mission. And here are two of the containers so we're just going to get rid of this guy so he doesn't notice that these containers are going into a wormhole. And so right here I'm just going to show you the exact location and just remove the marker. So there is the exact location of these two mineral containers. We're going to remove this one by faulting it out. And as, as you can see, you use the wormhole one. Uh, I'm, you can use the one just below that, which, or is it one below that or two below that, where you can just get the containers. And, but I just have the wormhole one anyway. So what we're gonna do is walk over to these ones. There was another guard we took out and extract these two so these are the last two that you need to extract there are four in total and this is the location so we're just going to extract that right there and there is one more just on the other side of it right there so once you've extracted those what we're going to do is actually we're going to head towards the prisoners now these are the main uh, objectives within this mission the guards that are going to show up in the vehicles and they're eventually going to kill them is fully scripted so that when you arrive at the area that is when the guards are going to start showing up so you don't have to worry about the guards getting there too early so you don't have to worry about a timing or anything as soon as you get to this area that is when they start saying that there are a couple of guards on their way and they're going to end up executing the prisoners. So once you get to this point, you also want to watch out for any directional mines that are around there. There were directional mines right there, but there weren't any when I landed in the other location. But then when I landed in this location, there were directional mines there. So it all depends on 
which um, landing zone you choose to start in. We're going to just get rid of this guy so we can make sure that we don't get spotted. I am also going to be using the stun arm, so the level 4 stun arm. And this is going to allow me to call down the lightning strike on a bunch of these guards and just get rid of them very, very quickly. We're just all get, also going to get rid of that guy. And now we're just going to wait for the uh, uh, transport vehicle to show up, which is going to have two uh, soldiers in it. And they are going to be the ones that are going to end up executing these prisoners. One of the prisoners is going to try and make an escape attempt. So you've got to make sure that they uh, don't end up killing him as he's trying to escape. So now I've got the stun arm ready. And I'm just going to charge it up so that once you fully charge it, you'll be able to cause... A lightning strike and the radius on that is 40 meters so as long as you are closer than 40 meters make sure you don't get spotted so you don't get a combat alert and once you reach fully charged and everyone is within 40 meters you can just release it and that will get all those guys and now I can go and pick up this prisoner because he is running off we don't want him to run too far there is going to be the other vehicle so we also have to extract two four-wheel drives in this uh, mission so the first four-wheel drive we're going to extract is the one right in front of us right here that was the one that those two guys showed up and there is going to be another two guys that are going to show up in a four-wheel drive vehicle so we're just going to also make sure that these guys are all asleep so every single one of these guards are taken down so there's also one more over here we're going to get and we can get a headshot on him easy and we are just going to grab this prisoner as well so this is the second prisoner that we need to extract and so once we grab her we're just going to place her in the vehicle as well as well because we want to be able to go and get the african peach without exiting the hot zone so now what we're going to do is we are just going to get our normal gun and we are just going to wait for these guys to get close enough and then just shoot once that will make them stop and then you can then uh, tranquilize them very easily so two body shots or a single headshot this guy is now calling in um, something so we just want to make sure that we don't shoot him until he's finished his conversation uh, so now the other guy is talking and it's all good so we can do what we can do now is just go over and extract that vehicle and that will count towards one of the two vehicles that you have to extract and this is also the area where you're going to find the uh, um, the goats, the nig... What are they called again? I always forget what these names are called. Uh, I just have to bring it up so I can see it. The nib... Nubians? 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 I don't know. So what we're going to do, we're just going to jump in the jeep so that we can move these guys out of the way so that they aren't going to be shot because it's like, wait, what are you doing in the jeep? And so they are going to just go down here so they can't get spotted. Now, unfortunately for me, a D-Dog doesn't quite do his job right here. Usually he would be barking and showing me exactly the locations of these animals. But unfortunately he doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tranquilize them and extract them. Now, unfortunately, I also got these guys stuck in a little bit of a, a rut. So we just want to make sure we try and get them out. So this is the area where you're going to find all six of them. They're just going to be along that sort of area. So now we just want to try and find them. And putting on your night vision goggles helps out a lot. So we're just going to go around and get all these guys. Some of the guards are going to start waking up about now. But as long as you just make sure you don't get spotted by them, you'll be totally fine. So now we're just going to get this guy up. Extract him out of there. So that'll be the second one that we need to find. So once we extract this guy, I'm just checking to see. Make sure not too many of these guys are waking up so far. And there's going to be one just over there that we're just going to have to chase around. And there is one somewhere else. So there are six of them that you need to find. I think there are only six in this area. So once you've got that guy, I can then extract him. That's going to be number three. And now we just have to find some more other ones. So putting on your night vision goggles helps out a lot, especially once you've got them fully upgraded. You can definitely see them a lot easier. So there's one over there. So we're just going to get that one. Make sure we actually hit it. And we're going to get that one over there. And so that is going to be four, so wait, five and six? Or is that going to be four and five? So we extract these ones anyway. So extract this one and extract this one. And I think I need to find one more. And this little guy is kind of a little a little annoying to find, especially because D-Dog's not doing his job and he's not spotting them. Uh, I don't know why that is. It just happened to me twice this time. So I'm just actually checking to see whether or not I can see it and there it is right there so we're just going to hit it now once they go down you got to make sure that you get them so as you can see 
I'm only, I don't have them all of the mission tasks and I just want to get this one and once I've got this one I'm just going to take this guy out as well so that he doesn't spot me. Unfortunately he's got a helmet on so it's just going to make it a bit harder. Especially with night vision goggles it's hard to tell if they've got helmets on. So I'm just going to end up uh, tranking him like this and hitting him in the leg. So once I hit him twice he will just should fall asleep. I hit him once I'm pretty sure so I'll be fine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this guy. I do end up running past him. So put your night vision goggles back on and just look around. So I'm like, wait, where'd he go? I can't see him. He's actually behind the rock to my right. And I'm like, oh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. So it might be like while I'm rushing. So it's like, oh, my, where is he? And then I end up finding him. And so then you, once you extract the, the sixth one, you will easily get the mission task. I had no trouble with that mission task other than the fact that D-Dog wasn't doing his job. So as you can see, we have now extracted all six of them, so we can now get out of the way. Now this bit is you, if you have this problem here, what you want to do is you head to the upper side, so the taller side, and then you can usually hop in easier. We just turned our night vision goggles off, so it makes it a bit more normal to look at. And now we are going to head over to the area where we're going to find the African peach. So this is a plant that you have to find, and we just want to make sure we get over there without tipping over the vehicle. Otherwise, you might end up killing the prisoners, which you don't want to do. Otherwise, you'll have to restart the entire mission. So the African Peach is located on this side of the little outpost. And what's well, not really an outpost, it's like a full-on like station, like a little base. So what we're going to do is we just want to stop right up here so that we don't get spotted by these guys. You can usually get actually pretty close and they don't really notice you. They've got really bad eyesight, apparently. And we're just going to get this guy twice. Once he falls down, that is going to alert one of these guys, I believe. No, once I get the guy in the tower down, that is going to alert one of the guys below him. So I'm just going to shoot him twice in the arm. Make sure because he's got body armor that you don't hit him in the body armor. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. And I'm just going to show you again. That is the location. One of the enemies is kind of like on alert slightly because he's like, what happened to my friend? And you just want to run up here. It is kind of a niggly part to try and get up. So we're just also going to get this guy because he's like, what's going on? I think I saw something. And there is the African peach. So you just want to make sure you run up that little area that I just ran up. It is very annoying because that's like the only way you can get up there is that little, little pathway. And so that gives us those ones. And once we extract this, these, this um, vehicle and these two guys, we will get all of the mission paths. So now what we're doing is we're just running to get out of the hot zone. The quickest way to get it from here is actually to run this way. And you will eventually run out of the hot zone by getting past the line. So if you just run this way, I'm just going to check to make sure that I've got all the mission tasks. And now we just head this way and you should end up getting out of the hot zone. There is a line um, just past here. So as you can see, the cliff, the cliff kind of just goes in a little bit further over this way. And you can easily get out of the hot zone just over here. So there we go. We're out of the hot zone. And now all we have to do is wait for the scoreboard. And it will be getting S rank in this mission. So if you wanted to do that as well as get all of the mission tasks at the same time, you can do that very easily. So there is the uh, scoreboard right there. As you can see, I get 166,000 points. And that will award me S rank very easily. So that's all I'm going to do for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have been able to get the uh, mission tasks. And now it's time for me to say, see you guys and girls.